In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your viewers use channel points to change your voice in your stream. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Sing smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 pm Central European time, on twitch.tv slash Tree. So there's a couple things we need to download for this. I will leave links underneath in the description below. The first thing we want to do is download the WebSocket. So this is the WebSocket. What we need to do is click on go to download. Now we scroll all the way down until we see uh, WebSocket installer. We click on that. So after downloading, you need to run the executable to actually install it. So make sure to do that. Second thing we want to download is Leorum board. Also link down in the description below for this. Uh, click on go to download here as well and then it will automatically download and we can save file okay and then uh, click on here and we can just unzip this folder after unzipping it i recommend you put it in a different folder than your download folder as you might sometimes want to delete your download folder content and you don't want to accidentally delete this so make sure to click on it and unzip it then the third thing we want to install is reaper here we see download plugin 64 bits you're probably running a 64 bits computer but if you're not sure you can always check in your computer settings but for most of you it would be the 64 bits and we're going to save this then we're also going to need to open this executable agree next install it in your plugin folder great <laughs> so the next thing we want to do now is we go and open the lean board receiver Click on here and then run the executable. Because I already used this, uh, it already connected to some things like OBS and Twitch and um, this one hasn't done it yet, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So normally it starts out with this screen. Uh, you have to fill in some things here. This is probably already right for you. But to find out if it is right for you, we have to go to OBS. So we're in OBS right now. I disabled the preview so you guys won't have streamception. But what you do is you go to tools here. I click on WebSocket server settings. These are the codes that needs to be the same as the ones in the Orem board. Right here. The second thing you want to do is uh, auto connect to OBS and Twitch. Check that on and then click on accept. Now what you need to do is click on connect to OBS. It should automatically connect now. And I click on link on Twitch. You need to authorize your Twitch there. And after that we can connect it to Twitch. It says transmitter must be running. What we need to do now is uh, we need to go back to this folder. Uh, if we go back to the Leon board folder, we see something called transmitter here. What we can do is go to OBS, add a source, uh, a browser source, transmitter, there we go, okay. And what we do now is we click on use local file and browse to the file. What we can do is we can Click on this eye to make sure that nobody sees this transmitter. It just has to be in one of your scenes. You don't have to have it active at all. So now, um, if we connect to Twitch, it should work. Now what we can do is we make a new uh, board by scrolling down and click on add new board. But I already have one, so I'm just gonna use this one. All right, like you see, I already have something set up in here. But what we want to do is we want to add that voice changer, right? I'm gonna make a button here, create a blank button. Name it uh, high, high pitch create. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make one that's called low pitch. Low pitch create, make that bigger as well. Now we have high and low pitch in here. Um, what we want to do is we want to go to OBS and we want to search our microphone. So for us, that is not working. I've not been recording the mic the whole time. Because I had to add some plugins to OBS, I just found out that I've been recording this whole video while not having my microphone on. So that means that we had to use the camera sound and I hope this has been okay for you guys. So sorry about that. But what we need to do now is we add our microphone in the scene, which you probably already have, right? What we can do is click on this cock wheel and go to filters. Now we add a new filter and we're gonna it and we're gonna add the VST plugin. Um high pitch that's how I'm calling it. And now we need to select regis and open the plugin interface. We can load a pitch and then 
uh, super pitch. So to hear ourselves, what we need to do is open advanced audio settings. Um, there we go. Advanced audio properties. And uh, our microphone, we set that on monitor and output. Right now, if I put on my headphones, I will actually hear my own voice with the delay. I'm using the Agata Wave 3, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my mic um, feedback in the actual Wavelink program, because otherwise I'm gonna get crazy of hurting myself twice. Um, so turn this off for now. Okay, now I hear myself through OBS. What we can do is go back to the interface, and if we start pitching, we should be able to hear a difference. Okay. Uh, what pitch adjustment? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that was that was not okay. Um, but well, well, hello, hello. But what we can do is we can change these values a little bit. Test. Okay, so it's mostly this one and and this one. Oh, robot. Um, that make you sound weird. Um, there we go. We have a high pitch right now. Oh yeah, this is a very high pitch. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is keep this and then um, turn this off. Cause you guys don't wanna hear me like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna also add a low pitch. So add a VST plugin, low pitch. Okay. And then add the VGs again, open the plugin interface, load the pitch, and then just... Um <laughs> That's a bit too much of an asking. Let's get rid of the rope. This is so. Hello? Okay, this is my normal voice. Hello? Okay, this is my normal voice. This is my normal voice. Try mix. Okay, so let's turn it off so you guys can hear me properly. <laughs> okay, yeah. What can I say? It sounds pretty funny. Uh, that's what we needed, right? So we're gonna close this and we're going back to Leon board. Now what we gotta do is reconnect those high and low pitches with the Leo on board. And I'm gonna turn off my feedback because I'm gonna get crazy of the double hearing myself. Advanced audio properties, back to monitor off, there we go. High pitch, we're gonna connect to the actual filter. So what we do is right click and then add commands. We add a command and we're gonna search here for uh, filter change a filter visibility that's what we want we want the mic filter and we want the high pitch because this was the high pitch one and then enable filter true and then we want to make another one exactly the same with a filter uh, mic high pitch and then false this will turn it off again and what we want to do is we want to set the duration of how long it takes for this to be on um i would recommend 3 seconds or 15 seconds, but not 60. I've tried 60 and that was like way too long. <laughs> so we need to set the value in milliseconds. So I want 30 seconds, so I will do 30,000 if I'm correct. 30,000 milliseconds? And then click on done. And what we want to do as well, do that for the low patch as well. Add command, um, filter, change, visibility, mic, low pitch, on, and then the next one, filter, mic low pitch false and then same amount of time that would make sense if if you ask me and then done okay so now we set these commands but we don't have them connected to our channel points yet so let's go to our creator dashboard and then here on the left we see community click on that and then channel points now click on the bottom one which is changing your your commands and then here on the custom commands we can make all these things Ooh, i have so many <laughs> What can I say? Um, did I make one already? I think, yeah, I did make a 
a command already with a high pitch here. What you can do is you can name it after what you want, but you need to make sure that this part, that you copy that and that's exactly the same in the Yorn board. So copy this and then go to the Yorn board and then with the high pitch at Twitch triggers at and then at point redemption and then paste the name here and then click on done. Now it's linked to this command. This is just a standard command. You can just make it by uh, going down here, click on add custom command. Um, you can just fill in the name you want, the description you want, the cost of points you need to put in to get this. You can give it a color and you can set a cooldown here or a limited redemption. So only like two per stream or five per stream or one per person or something like that. You can set that right here and I click on save. Same we want to do with the low pitch, but I already made them. So we can just copy and paste it. <laughs> No, I got prepared and then uh, added Twitch triggers and point redeem, paste it again and I'm done. Now uh, what you need to make sure of is that the commands are on, which are not for me yet. So turn this on, boom. Now we need to click on done and right now this should be working. So what we can test is we can test by going to our stream manager, click on the channel point icon. Apparently you can't. Apparently you need to be actually in your channel. Well, let's do that then. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> Chat. There we go. We can see them now. Um, to make sure that we can actually see if the filters are on and off. Um, I will drag this in so you guys can see. I need to find the actual commands, but that's fine. <laughs> Posture check. That's not... Why do I have so many? <laughs> It was thousands, right? Yeah. So it should be here somewhere. Oh, here. High pitched. Okay, there we go. This should change to high pitch now. I'm not sure if it's working. There we go. Oh, yeah, it is on. Look at that. It's on right now. We'll be sounding with a high pitch. You will be hearing me with a high pitch right now. I'm just gonna wait until it, you know, expires because this is gonna sound really, really bad for you guys. <laughs> Okay, it turned itself back off, like we see. So it has been working. We can also do that with the low pitch, but we still have exactly the same. So for now, I believe that the low pitch is also working, you know. I would recommend you test this if you set this on your stream. But I don't want to make the video necessarily long, so... So yeah. Uh, the other thing you need to make sure of is that you keep this Leon board open while you stream. So what I recommend is you... Um, lock the receiver in your taskbar so you can easily open it or you have like a shortcut on your desktop or you make a button on your stream deck will automatically open it everything is possible but make sure that you can find it back quickly because you need to open it every time you stream otherwise it doesn't work the other thing you need to make sure of is if you're in a board like this that you have clicked done and that you're back in this main menu for it to work. Last thing I want to say is that this doesn't work with Streamlabs OBS, so for sorry if you're using that. Yeah, sorry. If you want to learn more about channel points itself, I also have a video where I explain everything about channel points. So just hop into this video with me and I will see you there.